Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well out there today. Uh, in this video, uh, well, this video is gonna be kind of a part two to my tiny pilot video that I released a while back. One of the, I guess, biggest downfalls to the tiny pilot is that it only supports one device. So in this video, I wanna show you how to expand up to four devices to be able to manage through your tiny pilot in a browser. So as I mentioned, we talked about the uh, Tiny Pilot KVM in a previous video, and I showed how easy it was to use and set up and 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 get access to uh, your desktop and that sort of thing on a remote device in your browser uh, with just the basic setup here. And of course, this is this is their their top of the line uh, product here. This is this is kind of includes everything that we need in order to do that. But uh, what it doesn't do is allow for more than one device uh, natively. So what I want to show in this video is how to expand this to make it uh, a bit more user friendly for multiple devices. In order to do that, what we're going to do uh, is we're just going to go over and set this aside. And then we're going to talk about a couple of things that we're going to need here. And I will have links to all of this in the description down below. Now, the first thing that we're going to need here uh, is a... Uh, just a, a, a KVM here. This is a standard uh, four port KVM uh, that's got uh, HDMI and USB. And you can see these are each labeled one, two, three, and four. Uh, over here, we've got our output that would go uh, actually with this uh, area right here. Uh, in theory, it should plug directly into here. However, uh, there are a couple of issues that uh, prevent that from working natively. Uh, so what we're actually going to do uh, is we're going to introduce uh, this powered HDMI splitter. Uh, this is a, uh, so one in and uh, two out as far as that HDMI is concerned. But uh, in order for the for the power to go through uh, from, from the device, the, the native device to the KVM uh, to our, uh, Tiny Pilot here, we will need a powered uh, HDMI splitter. Again, uh, like I mentioned before, all of this will be linked in the description down below. Uh, but these are the parts that you're gonna need uh, in order to really expand on this. Now, here's the thing, like this is, uh, this, like I said, is a four port uh, HDMI splitter. Uh, I believe you could go bigger than this. There will be a link in the description that will uh, take you over to Tiny Pilot's website where they talk about uh, KVMs that they have tested uh, and ensured that they work or, or they've tested it kind of worked. Uh, there, there's a, there's a web page that I will link to that will have uh, a list of uh, compatible, known compatible uh, uh, KVM switches like this. Um, so with all that said, let's go ahead and get all of this put together and uh, then we will, I'll show you kind of what the new uh, version of the KVM looks like. Uh, this will be my personal KVM, the way I'm gonna set it up. Uh, yours may look different when it's done, but uh, I'll go ahead and put this together and then kind of walk you through what I did. Okay, so we've got all our parts here and basically what I wanna do is figure out a way to lay these out uh, so that they make the most sense uh, to be just kind of a combined unit here. And I think what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm just gonna kind of set them up uh, like this something about like that. Uh, conveniently, this all fits together in a very neat little package uh, when it's all uh, stacked up like that. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna get some stickies uh, so I can kind of stick some of this stuff down. Okay, so this part was much longer originally and I realized that I could cut a bunch of it out and kind of skim over it. So what I did was I took the feet off the bottom of the Tiny Pilot, uh, grabbed some 3M double-sided sticky tape and uh, just kind of found the best way to put all of this together so that it looked good and it was functional. And really that's all I was going for here. So uh, there you go. Uh, that's all there is to making all of this stick together. And there we go. Now everything, uh, everything is good to go. Uh, so we can basically, what we're going to do um, is we're going to start attaching some cables here. Uh, so the first thing I want to do uh, is I've got, I've got a, uh, just a very short uh, HDMI uh, double, a double right angle there that I want to plug in to the input por portion of the, uh, the tiny pilot and the output of, uh, of there. So now we're, we're attached on HDMI one and the capture card there. Uh, and then of course we need to we need to get some power and that sort of thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in to the power plug right there. And then this, this should go about like this, like that, there we go. And then of course we'll also need to uh, plug in our power and data here as well. So basically, so I've got another right angle uh, adapter here. Uh, didn't, you don't have to use a right angle adapter for this, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna plug this in right there and I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna plug it into our keyboard like that. And then at that point you can uh, basically use whatever 
uh, micro USB cable you want to use like that. And this end will go to, uh, to your power supply uh, that will power uh, most all of this. Uh, there is also um, a barrel jack with a uh, USB here uh, that will power uh, our splitter. So if we flip this up, oops, then we can plug this in. And of course, that'll go to power and that'll go to power. And then basically at that point, uh, we're, 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 we're done. We just, we need to plug in, of course, all of our devices that we'll plug into here. Uh, those cables will go out. Oh, you know what? I also need to plug in one from here to here. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, uh, I'm kind of doing some pre-recording, uh, but so I don't have this cable quite yet. It is on its way. It's another one of these uh, short uh, double right HDMI cables, uh, but that's what's going to connect uh, this to here. And then, uh, then we can start plugging in our devices and we'll be good to go. Okay, so here we are sometime later, and this is kind of where we left things off. Uh, we had some wires plugged in here, and I've had a chance to go through and basically put together a wiring harness for this setup. <clears throat> now, going through this process didn't change the routes of anything uh, from what I showed before, uh, and this is basically the unit as it stands. And then there's this wiring harness that I built. So basically what we're gonna do <clears throat> now that it's put together is actually go through, take some time to put this all back together and make sure that everything works the way uh, I originally uh, set it up to work. So once I tested everything uh, and made sure everything was working, I started uh, bundling up wires and kind of making a wiring harness uh, out of the, all of the wires that were there. And then I uh, realized I hadn't recorded any of it. So I took it all apart so I could kind of show you this part of, of nothing changed here. It's just, now I've got a wiring harness that I can plug in and everything works uh, exactly the way you would expect it to. Uh, and you really can do some cool stuff with cable management uh, if you got some time or you're bored or whatever the case may be. But this is what my wiring harness turned out to look like to make sure that all my cables were managed and not gonna get in the way of anything else. And that's just the process that I show putting it all back together here. And okay, so there's the uh, the micro, or sorry, there's the USB-C cable for power to the tiny pilot. Uh, here is the RAV power 60 watt power brick uh, that I use to power the whole thing. Um, basically, uh, they, the USB plugs in on one side, power plugs in on the other. Uh, and at that point, everything just works. So of course, uh, the network cable will plug into a switch. And on the back, we've got four pairs of cables, uh, an HDMI and a USB cable for uh, each of the different devices. And those have already been pre-run to where they're gonna go. So now it's just a matter of putting it in the rack, plugging everything in, and we're all set. Okay, so here is my rack. Uh, we've seen this before, but down here uh, is kind of where all of the, the magic is starting to happen. And then over here, uh, uh, Right here is my Windows uh, MB server. It was just easier to use Windows to pass the GPU graphic uh, setup through there. Uh, so that is on uh, port number one uh, over here on the KVM down there. Uh, right here, I've got uh, Mighty Mouse. This is my Latte Panda Delta 432. That's on port two. And then uh, right here is a Raspberry Pi desktop. Uh, it's an eight gig. Uh, that is on port three. And then over here, uh, we've still got an opening for port four on the KVM. So now uh, let's go over to my computer over there and take a further look. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. Of course, this is uh, this is the Tiny Pilot uh, Pro dashboard here. You can see that. And uh, here we've got my Windows server. Uh, I say server, it's Windows 10 with MB installed on it. I really should go through and clean it up, but that is uh, Windows. That's my, my, my machine on number one. And then if I just reach down uh, and do the, the hotkey thing, I can do control, control two. And that will take me over to the Raspberry Pi setup. So maybe maybe I've got uh, maybe I've got some things backwards in there as far as what I thought. But uh, then I can go Control Control Three, and uh, right there is Mighty Mouse, and we can see that uh, right up at the top of the screen. And if I can do Control Control Four, I don't know, there it goes, right back over to MB. Okay, so there you go. There is uh, kind of the Franken KVM that I've put together uh, using the Tiny Pilot and some additional parts to uh, be able to uh, manage up to four different devices uh, via the browser using Tiny Pilot as my uh, kind of my root device. So hopefully uh, you found this interesting. Of course, everything will be linked in the description down below. I want to give a big shout out to Tiny Pilot, uh, not only for uh, for sending the Tiny Pilot over initially, but also providing all of the hardware that I needed for this video. I will have, again, links to all of this in the description down below. But I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.